my name is Katie Browning. Um, I am part of the company Lucas Browning with my partner here, Heather Lucas. We're based out of the Pacific Palisades in Los Angeles, California. And we're really excited to be here today. So Katie and I met through mutual friends um, a little over 10 years ago. Uh, we were both young mothers and had had previous careers outside of the design industry. And we were interested in design for our, ourselves. Um, we had always helped friends out with design and we wanted to build something that would allow us to um, be present for our kids, but also um, speak to um, our more creative tendencies. I was a lawyer in my past career um, and Katie um, was in business. And so actually those skills have really helped us grow um, a great business. Sometimes 80% of what you do is business and only 20% of what you do is design. Yeah. Because there's so much in, with purchasing, with tracking, which keeping track of orders and um, hiring people, hiring HR, people, HR, um, um, <laughs> contracts, independent contractors. And um, there's so much business that goes into an interior design business that it's great having that that background. If not, you would you could hire for it though. I think. Yeah, absolutely. A lot of our clients come in through people we know and referrals. Um, as we've grown, that's changing a little bit. There are, we have had clients who have found us on Instagram, but a lot of it comes from our community and people who know us in our community, both in Pacific Palisades and the west side of Los Angeles. And one thing I think would I would say that um, all of our clients have in common is I would say 90% of them have children and pets. <laughs> And so we're, you know, used to creating something beautiful that's also durable. Um, we've always said that just because you have children, it doesn't mean you can't have a beautiful space. There's ways with, you know, fabric technologies and um, just thinking about the shapes of furniture that a, a beautiful design can be very child friendly and pet friendly. Um, but yeah, there's their families that frankly are similar to our families. We had a really small studio for our first year of business and um it was it was great to be able to be together in a space that was important to us but we very quickly realized that we were growing out of it as we got more and more clients and we needed more access to samples and then our team started to grow so we really needed a place where we could all convene and just like have a creative you know a, a place to be really creative and have all of our samples out and be together and host clients and now we've hosted the community here for an opening party so it's been really great to have the office it's been, it's, it's great working in such a beautiful space it really gets the creative juices flowing um and, it, and it's great to have our clients here we used to do all of our client meetings in our client space and we'll do our initial meetings with our clients there but now we're able to put their presentations up on our our big screen and have everything laid out on our big island. And um, so it's just been a really great transition to come to work and just feel inspired. We work on a variety of projects. Um, one of our kind of our niche projects, I would say, was where we live, there's a lot of new builds. Um, and a, there are a lot of developers who come in and will build similar houses throughout the community that are beautiful, but um, don't necessarily have a lot of personality and don't really speak to the taste of that owner. client yeah. or owner. And so what we love is coming into a house like that and just taking the great bones and making it unique to that client and just putting some more personality in it. So you don't walk into a house two blocks away and it looks exactly the same. We live on the coast. There's um, a lot of people like a more coastal look. There's a way to do that and have it still be yours and mm -hmm. still reflect your taste and not necessarily look like um, 10 other houses in the Palisades. We also recently worked on a lake cabin up in Northern Idaho, and that was really fun. Yeah. Um, if we're lucky enough to work on a, a second home, we find oftentimes clients are willing to take bigger risks, mm -hmm. maybe go a little bit brighter in their colors, a little bit more whimsical in the wallpaper, the lighting. And, um, you know, it's a home where you are creating these vacation memories, which I think is different than what needs to function for everyday life. So if we, anytime we have a chance to do a vacation home, it is just one of our most favorite things. I think one of the really neat things about what's trending right now 
is that um, our clients are more open to antiques and repurposing pieces they already have. Mm -hmm. And so you're not necessarily um, always going for the equivalent of fast fast fashion or, or fast interior design, where it's something that maybe isn't as high quality, but it's trendy and you, two years from now you want to get rid of it. Our clients are more open to investing in a piece that maybe we find on first dibs or at an antique store in Los Angeles, taking the time to make refinish it, taking the time to recover it. And it's an expense, but then they have an heirloom. They have something that you literally can pass down to your kids. We are so lucky to have so much access through social media to other designers' work. And we get a lot of inspiration from other designers. We have so many designers that we look up to and um, we're so lucky to be able to see so much of their process. I think what we try to be careful of is that we still have a unique perspective mm -hmm. and that we still have unique designs and um, just be careful not to um, mimic what we're seeing that inspires us so much. And of course there, you can make a spin off something. It's we all, I think, um, gather information from each other as designers, but um, I think we all need to be careful not to mimic each other's designs. And I think the flip side of that is some great things are going on in the industry, whereas it used to be really closed in terms of sharing business practices. We're finding that it's opening a lot more to different designers kind of helping other ones understand the business side of everything. So I think that's a really nice part of the industry that I've that we've seen in the past couple of years that is changing. And we've really connected with a lot of other designers, especially in Los Angeles. And we meet for lunch. We talk about, you know, what our pain points are. And I, I we appreciate that it's and becoming an environment of helping lift up other designers as opposed to just keeping your your secrets so close. I think people are surprised that our backgrounds are more rooted in business and Heather's a lawyer. Um, that's always said, really surprising to people. people. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you're oh, this yeah. is so different than what you used to do. And yes, it's you know two different sides of your brain, but um, but like we said earlier, to run a business, it, you you do need a lot of that left brained um, power. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, so it's, for sure, it's our backgrounds have helped us a lot in growing our business. Mm -hmm.